I'm over it. Fire Adam Gase. Fire him. Damn, Dave. It's a little too soon to be saying that. I don't know, man. What is up, know-it-alls? Welcome back to another video with me and Joey. And today we are talking about Adam Gates of the Miami Dolphins. Dave, are you over him, man? What's going on? I thought he was supposed to be your boy. Guys, I it's official. Officially stamp it. It's done. Signed, sealed, delivered. Me, David, I am over Adam Gates. I don't want him anymore. I'm done with him. All man, right? Dave, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. And what I, did Adam do to you? I've thought about this for a long time, and I've kind of been an Adam Gase apologist. I've been making excuses for him for the last three years. I've been on his side. I've been giving him the benefit of the doubt for all these years, and now it's just I'm done. I'm over it. It's I I don't want it. I don't want him anymore. I have a tell lot me. of reasons, and I'm ready to dive into this. If you're tell ready, me, to man, hear. Break, break it down. You're, you're looking like you're ready to vent. Is what I'm here right, for. Let's right. get into I, it. No, it all. I need to get something off my chest. I need to talk this out a little bit, and I need to put that out there in the universe for you guys to hear and you guys to comment back to me what you think about everything I have to say right now. So get in those comments down below and let me know what you think. This should be good. All right. <laughs> Beginning of rant. So <laughs> Adam Gase is notoriously known as a guy that wants his kind of guys, right? He wants okay. the, the team players, not the me players, right? Gotcha. And I don't necessarily think it is that. I think he just wants players that he likes, that he gets along with, and he gets rid of the players he doesn't like and doesn't get along with. So is that what he did with uh, Jarvis Landry and Dominican Sue? So there's a track record with this. We have really good players that have been let go. But, hen, mm -hmm. but also, so Jarvis Landry, like you said, Dominican Sue, Jordan Phillips, starters, guys that have played for us, and two of them were pro bowlers while they were here in Miami, and he got rid of yep. them. Same thing with uh, Pouncey, got rid of Pouncey. Again, yep. he's not with these guys, and he's very arrogant, all right? And I'll get into that later, but his arrogance is a very key point in this whole rant. So, okay. as I was saying, he gets rid of guys he doesn't like, but yet, notice our off-season accusations. Notice that Ryan Tannehill's never been in the hot seat in the three years that he's been here, and he was brought yep. to Miami to either make Ryan Tannehill a top quarterback or get another one, and he has been... <laughs> Sewn to his hip. He has literally yep. signed his life away as Ryan Tannehill as his <laughs> quarterback. And he has yet to perform as a top quarterback under the guru Adam Gase. The quarterback whisperer. The offensive savant Adam Gase. All right? Very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. Very so underwhelming. So, I go back to his, he likes his guys, right? Who do we sign last year when Ryan Tannehill went out? Who, David? Jay Cutler. <laughs> Did anyone think he was really good? No, but he hooked his boy up with a job, right? 10 mil for one year. Oh, BS yeah, man. Contract. They... Who do we get this offseason for our backup quarterback? I think a, a sea creature of some sort. Brock a lobster. Osweiler hooked up his boy <laughs> again. Same thing with David Fales. Why do we have three quarterbacks on a depth chart? He likes his guys. And he the guys that he likes, he, you're in with him. You know what I mean? Like he, he'll get yeah. you a roster spot. You're cool. We're cool. Whatever. Everything is all good. He plays the favorite game, and I don't like that. I want yep. the best players on my team at all time to give me the best opportunity to win. And you don't always have to like everyone that you play with, but you better respect them. And he doesn't yep. get the respect from these certain players, and he just gets rid of them. And again, back to that arrogance thing, right? It's one thing to be arrogant. If Bill Belichick is arrogant, great. If all these uh, these other quarterbacks like Tomlin, I know Tomlin is kind of controversial, but a Super Bowl winner, a Pete Carroll, yeah. guys that have won Super Bowls, when you're arrogant, you deserve it because you've done something in your career. Adam yeah. Gase just thinks he's the shit and hasn't done anything in his career <laughs> so far. Yeah. I mean, like, as far as offense or uh, as far as a head coach, he's supposed to be this offensive savant, right? Let me give you, yeah. let me spit some numbers at you right now. First Tell year me. that he was with the Miami Dolphins in, two, in 2016, Miami was 24th in the league in overall offense. 
Really big offensive, uh, really good offense, right? Second year in 2017, he was 25th. Oh, so we improved, right? Yeah. Took a step back. We took. I'm sorry. We took a step back. We went down one one ranking. Yep. 25th in the league. Now this year we're 21st in the league. That's a big jump, Dave. We've been in the <laughs> 20s as a total offense. So that's what he does. That's what Adam Gase does. Like he is an offensive guy, and yet we don't put offensive numbers. So why is he our head coach again? Dave, he's the guru. He reminds me, I mean, the way you're describing him, I'm just like picturing Josh McDaniels in my head. <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to get great quarterback play and great offensive play. And what's the two things that have been possibly the worst thing in the last three years for the Miami Dolphins? Quarterback yeah. play and offensive play. And yeah. that's his specialty. So again, why is he our coach? He gets rid of our, our elite talent. He gets rid of our Pro Bowl talents every year almost, it seems like. He's so quick to cut these guys. Same thing with Devontae Parker. I'm not the biggest Devontae Parker fan, but it's clear as day that this guy has been healthy for the past couple of weeks. And for whatever reason, Adam Gase refuses to play He's with not him. playing him. We had two wide receivers that were active last week after Stills and Wilson went down. We only had two wide receivers. We could have used Devontae Parker at that position. And yeah. the, I mean, I, it's hearsay. It's he say, she say, or he say, he say, whatever you want to call it. Because yeah. the, the um, what do you call it? The agent. Devontae Parker says that he's healthy. Yeah, the agent says that literally, uh, Adam Gase is incompetent. Like he he can't like he does he's over Devontae Parker or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't like what I. I oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated <laughs> with this. Like. Like what you don't hear anything, and then once these guys leave, like the second Jordan Phillips left, he was like, Oh, thank God I'm out of there. Like, these guys don't respect Adam Gase, I feel like. Have there been reports that like he's lost the locker room or something like that? Like what what's it like in there? Because I mean, just from an outsider looking in, it seems to be okay. But I mean, you're saying I mean, I know he's he cut go I, let go of all your good players. I mean, who knows? I just think he has his boys and he has his tight group and the guys that like him, like him. And if you don't get along with him, he's going to get rid of you. Damn. And that's fine. Again, you can be like that an arrogant SOB and just think that your shit doesn't stink and you're the best coach in the league if you're Bill Belichick, but you're clearly not. Part of yeah. being a coach in the NFL is being a molder of talents, a, a, a molder of character of men, like learning how to like take different types of uh, personalities and have them all mesh into one locker room like that's a part of it taking talented players with problems and making them better and yeah it clear. reminds me a little bit of Coughlin yeah it reminds me a little bit of Coughlin where like all the players they hated Coughlin the first couple of years and then he had to adapt he's like listen this old style that I'm doing where it's like my way or the highway it's not working it's not effective let me switch it up a little bit and and we won Super Bowls because he did that yeah it's just like this this my way or the highway thing is such yeah. an old generation thing. I don't think these He's not even old. <laughs> yeah, but these players don't respond to that. And it's just yeah. again, it's good if you are already a proven if you're proven and you're a Super Bowl winning coach, then yeah, my way or the highway works because people are gonna buy in. But no one's gonna buy into you when you're an offensive coach and we're the twenty first ranked offense in the league. Like, yeah, do bad. the math. You know we haven't scored on our, on our first offensive possession all season? Not even that's just surprising. a touchdown, just a point. Just getting a field goal. <laughs> Not even a field goal, Not man. Not even a field goal. Like, how the hell are we supposed to lose, win games when we can't even start off on a good foot? You know what I mean? I absolutely know what you mean, yeah. I mean, but like, like you said, going back to it, I mean, it's he's supposed to be this quarterback guy. Tannehill, I mean... It's just looking from the outside in, I'm not impressed by Tano. Like, w when he's on, he's okay. And when he's off, I, I expect it. Yeah. Tannehill and Osweiler are the same right now. I mean, yeah. they, ha they have slightly different games. Tannehill's a little more athletic. Osweiler is a little better of a quarterback. But, yeah. I mean, you can make an argument that there is no letdown on our offense ever since Osweiler took over. And, and that's a problem. And you, could, you couldn't even notice. Like, look at the numbers. Yeah. The numbers are the same. If anything, Osweiler throws for more yards and gets more touchdowns. Like, he's just a better quarterback. You know what I'm like? Yeah. I said it earlier in another video. I said, 
Listen, when a football team has two quarterbacks, they really have no quarterbacks. I know, but we we don't even have two. I mean, I think Osweiler's decent. I think he's a good backup, but I don't think. But he's that's what I'm saying. Like they're both playable, but the fact that they're both playable and there's not a clear standout that means you got a problem. Yeah, and Tannehill is hurt again. He's been out yep. 21 of the last 26 games or whatever the stat is. I'm honestly ready to move on from him too because it's just like yep. how much are you going to get hurt and how bad can you look under the an offensive head coach, a quarterback whisper? I'm so tired of hearing those things and his play calling is genius. Yep. They call him the mad – even Jakeem Grant and Albert Wilson were calling him mad scientist of plays. Like, come on, dude. We can't sustain any yeah. drives. Anytime we get a touchdown, it's like a 50 It's a yard. big play. It's only big chunk plays. And that's just because we have a bunch of dudes that run four threes on our offense. Yeah. And the worst part is, like, you guys are, like, good. And you guys are decent right now. So you can't even, like, tank for, like... Not only is it, like, a bad quarterback class, but you guys aren't even in a position to, like, get the good one. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I know. I mean, I, I don't think we're going to get a quarterback this offseason. season. No, and I don't think so either. I think Tannehill in in the in the right system could win you games. Like he he can be success. I'm I'm not dogging on him right now. He could be a good system quarterback, and he can win you games and potentially go into the playoffs. And who knows what happens when you get to the playoffs? You know what I mean? I don't think yeah. he's trash. I just think if you're looking for like a top ten quarterback, Tannehill will never be there. Yeah, he's never but, gonna I mean, be there, and he's always hurt. Yeah. It's like. The best, the best thing is availability. Like if, if you can't, yeah. if you can't play for me, you're not worth anything. Exactly. And the Dolphins, I mean, they haven't had a good quarterback in, God, I can't remember. Like, like a, like a top ten quarterback. Like th this is what you guys need. You it's guys Marino. need something. Yeah, I know, man. It's bound to be a Marino curse at this point. Pretty soon Fuck. they're gonna start. You know, like the Bambino curse on the Red yeah. Sox. It's about to be a Marino curse on the Dolphins. Because uh, we had like one good change. season with Chad Pennington. That was the only decent quarterback play we had. Man, I remember one Chad season. Pennington. <laughs> and he was just efficient. It wasn't like he was blowing it out. He was just very accurate yeah. and efficient. He did enough. Yeah. But yeah, what what's your take on Gase? I mean, you're not a Dolphins fan, but I'm not a Dolphins fan. But I mean, from the outside looking I, in, a non bias opinion. Listen, the, whenever I think of the Dolphins, I think of eight and eight. I think you guys are the poster child for just an 8-8 eight eight record. You won't tank and get a good pick. You won't do anything and put yourself in the playoffs to get any postseason success. It's just been more of the same. And where has the problem – I just said, where has the problem always been? It's been at the quarterback position. Unless you guys – something drastic needs to happen because the offense is only going to go as far as the quarterback. We're seeing it with my Giants right now. Eli can't play, which is why we're 1-5. And, and I think the Dolphins – I think guys are like 4-3 four, four and three right now. Yeah. Four and three. I mean, that's still a pretty good record, but I mean, another loss. You're at five hundred, and then two losses, then you're below yeah. five hundred, and then I think you're in for another eight eight year. Something drastically needs to happen. I don't know. I, I don't know the answer because, like I said, this quarterback class in the draft this week, Herbert might not even come out. So what do you guys do? I think you guys stick with Tano for like at least another year or something like that, and pray to God that it works. I don't think you guys are going to get rid of Gase anytime soon, unfortunately. I think there's been too much coaching changes, too much culture, like, turnover. I think you're just stuck with him, honestly, Yeah. as much as, much as it pains I, I just – I mean, you're right. We always hover around that 7-9, and 8-8, nine, 9-7 eight and eight, nine and seven record, barely missing the playoffs or a couple games out of the playoffs. We always get, like, a 15, 16, 17 – pick in the yeah. first round so we never get that elite guy it's always like kind of lower in the first round and it's like the same thing we're just spinning our wheels and it's frustrating yeah. and it's unfortunate that we don't have like the cojones to move on from Gase because I mean I'm just a fi finally kind of saying this right now like yeah. I, even last mm -hmm. week if you asked me I would have been like okay Gase he can do it but like I'm over it like show me yeah. the numbers like I'm over you talking a big talk and you don't you underperform. We're in the 20s every year for total offense and that's what you do. That is your yes. this is the reason why you got hired <laughs> Somehow as the, the defense, Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Somehow the defense is improving every year but the offense yeah. is super stagnant. <laughs> it's like come on dude.
Like, I'm not even asking for you to be elite. Like, I'm not – I mean, like, you look at the other the other head coaches in the league. Like, I'm not asking to be the Chiefs or nothing, man, but just Dude, give I me – I know. Like, think about Andy Reid. Offensive guy, quarterback whisperer, right? It doesn't matter who he has. He can have Nick Foles. He can have Alex Smith. He can have Patrick Mahomes. He can have Donovan McNabb. You can go on and on with the list. He's always going to have a top five offense in the league. He's always going to be explosive. They're always going to be great. You go to Bill Belichick, he's always going to have a great consistent defense. He's always going to protect Tom Brady, and he's always going to play the smartest brand of football. He's always going to wait for the other team to make a mistake, and his guys are the most coached up dudes in every situation of football. They always know what to do. He trains the most minute little like <laughs> circumstances in, in practice, and people make fun of him for it, but it works. So every yeah. quarterback has a niche. So what's Adam Gase like? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a broken record, but like, what does he do? Why is he our coach? You were brought in to be an offensive coordinator and to develop Ryan Tannehill. You have failed at both, and you've had three years. Yep, I think I think Gase has developed like Grant and Wilson more than he's developed like Tannehill. Or Honestly, <laughs> right? It's uh, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. But all right. All right, guys, that is the video. Drop a like down below if you believe in the Dolphins. <laughs> drop a Let's like. Let's end it on a high note. Let's end it on drop a Drop a note. like for my mental sanity because these Dolphins drive me up a wall. All right. Um, comment down below what you think. Should we fire Adam Gase? Should Adam Gase be gone by the end of the season? Obviously, we're not going to fire him during yeah. the season. That would be dumb. Is David overreacting right now? Yeah. Let us know. Am guys. I overreacting? Do you do you support Adam Gase? But if you support Adam Gase, comment in the comments why. Why? Don't Tell just us. say, oh, you're dumb because Adam Gase is good. Give me reasons. <laughs> Give me facts. Give me some stats, some data that can support your comment because I'd love okay. to see it, honestly. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Joey and I do videos every single day about various sports topics. And, uh, yeah, you got anything for him, Joey? Listen, man, I didn't do too much talking in this video. I was sort of, you know, just being here to let you talk, just talk it out. You're Dr. Out. Phil okay. for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the Dr. Phil for this video. It's fine. But, uh, listen, man. I like the Dolphins. I hope you guys are good. I mean, we just got, we just got to get we, both of us. We got to figure out the quarterback. The Giants got to figure out the quarterback. The Dolphins yeah. got to figure out the quarterback. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys. Adios. We will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye.